<laughs> it's funny how Super Size Me was such a revolution. It's like this guy was like, if you only eat McDonald's every single day, it will negatively impact your health. And we were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is who I'm watching The Witcher, Season 2, Episode 4. Redanian Intelligence. I have no clue. Zero out of ten. I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> we're, I think we're done for tonight. We're going to pick it back up tomorrow because yeah. I am at saturation point for With the, words. all the words. <laughs> for words. I'm, 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 I'm thinking about seeking out. This is, this is dangerous. I'm thinking about seeking out a YouTube video. Okay. I need a map. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I need a map, and I need to look at some of these words a little bit more to let them sink in. I got a map for you. Okay. <laughs> so we have, we kind of opened with King... Oh, we could get a puzzle of the map. Okay. <laughs> we kind of opened with King Vizimir, who I think we've met. He was in the previous episode. He was in the previous episode. He was one of the kings that like was, did, that did not give any by. <laughs> by Yennefer burning everything down. So that was kind of cool. And he has a new advisor in the form of... Graham McTavish! Uh-huh. Ah! Love him from Outlander. I feel like he's not a good guy. I think he's crazy. Yeah. I don't necessarily know that he's a bad guy, but he's crazy. It was really... Uh, I am not, like, precious. Like, I'm not one of these, like, well, I never. But I didn't love him killing that girl. Well, the... The woman and the man were both trying to kill the king. Oh, they were? I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's I'm so why, bad at this. That's why he made the guy drink the wine, because okay. he was going to give the wine to uh, okay, King okay. Vizimir. <laughs> and then he, the king was even like, you know, this one's known me since I was 12. And he uh -huh. was like, that's ridiculous. No, it makes sense to also, me now. Also, he is King Vizimir of Redania, so Redanian intelligence now checks out. <laughs> Five out of ten. <laughs> that's... <laughs> It's ask. It's simply asking too much of us. I don't know. Also, twist. Let's just stay up the rest of the night and finish it. <laughs> I was gonna be like, we start drinking, and I was like, or not. Or not I mean, it's yeah. a toss up either way. Um. So okay, yeah. I spend a lot of time worrying about whether or not I'm following it, and then I'm not actually like I like I start drifting, yeah. but. So he, I'm assuming, is in the north. Yeah. So Redania, I think it's I, I. Well, let's see if I can actually find a map that's not a puzzle to tell me, because God, these are all just like buying them on Etsy. I just want to look at it. Okay, Redania is towards the north, but it's not all the way north, and so that it's basically most of the episode took place there because that's where they were also rounding up the elves. So it's not ah, it's not Sintra. Oh, Sintra's in the south. Where the fuck is everything? <laughs> I kept on saying the north because I was certain I was right. I am so confused I'm not now. looking forward to our comments the next no, week. No, me neither. <laughs> me neither. Because there's also like an extraction on this map, but I can't tell where it's extracting from. Because the elves are trying to get to Sintra. Yeah. Because either... Zintreya. Because it used to be their home. And either there is like Haven there or they plan, they think they can make it a well, safe that, haven. Well, there is Haven there because that's what Fringilla is doing. Is She is in mm -hmm. Sintra with Francesca mm -hmm. and they are making a haven for the elves. Mm -hmm. I am saying all of this with a great deal of certainty and now I am <laughs> really second guessing myself. Well, because I, I basically why I was starting here was I was like, what was the point of King Vizimir and Grand McTavish? If you're watching this and have a lock on the plot, then I am expecting you to also know the names of the actors playing these characters. So Grand McTavish <laughs> has a magic owl that's maybe a priestess. Yeah, I at first I couldn't tell if it was his owl or if it was someone else's owl. I he think was he's given her a show. Well, I think he's in cahoots with whoever's owl it is because uh, the owl was like whenever we saw through the owl's eyes, it almost felt like it was projecting it back to somewhere else. 
Oh, well, I, I mean, I got that the owl was sort of spying, but yeah. I just didn't know who was aware of what. Exactly. Like, I, I think he's aware of it, but I I, almost, I feel like there must be cahoots. Somewhere. Well, because part of me thought that maybe the owl, like maybe this was the owl reporting back and it was spying somewhere else, but then we would have seen that. So that doesn't make any sense. And he looked it directly in uh -huh. the eyes. I feel like if he looked it he, in like, the eyes. He like addressed her. And knew. I was waiting for yeah. her to shape shift and yeah. she didn't happen. Yeah. It, so Triss has made her way to Care Morin. Mm -hmm. And. She and Geralt are old friends. There is an episode in They're season like old one. Param paramours? Not really paramours. Okay. There is a, an episode in season one where um he helps her with a princess. Exactly the story. It's like mm -hmm. there I don't remember the specifics of it because I only rewatched like five episodes. Of I was gonna one. say that one, that one's a blank. I don't yeah. remember that one at all. So it did happen. I just don't remember the specifics about it. So they know each other. And Will apparently said that there is like a Jennifer versus Triss, like mm -hmm. a whole Will they, won't they? thing between Geralt and both of them. So um, I guess, but I don't think it got romantic in the show with her. Well, it did. We just didn't see it. It did not at all. They didn't do anything in this episode. He didn't, turned her down. What was that? Oh, yeah. Dude. To her face, he was like, no, and pulled his hand out of her hand. Do you want to take it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, do you want to tell? Do you want to take them? <laughs> I thought she was like in the bed and she was talking about her scar. And he was like, some scars don't heal. They weren't like, in bed. They were in the. But she talked about it. I thought she said, I thought she was like, I like needed that last night or I came to your bed last night or something. No, I, thought, I it was she. It was basically like he said, I can't be what you need. And she was like. When I asked for you last night, you were what I need in that moment because your pain made I assume, me feel something. Again. I assumed it happened. And then there, I thought no, this no. was an uncomfortable morning after. No, it was uncomfortable because he was trying to apologize for saying no. No, okay. Yeah. Because you're right. <laughs> Not clear to okay, me. <laughs> now I understand what you said because you were like, we didn't even get to see it. And uh -huh. I was like, well, there was nothing. But yeah, there was nothing. Okay. Because if there was something and we didn't get to see it, I'm pissed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we have her there. Uh, she told off all of the guys, which yeah. long time coming. Yeah. Uh, and, and really, like it was, it was very, <laughs> it was news to them that they were being jerks. Yeah. And also, they seemed to take their tongue lashing pretty well. Yeah. They were kind of like, oh, shucks. oh no, because I was with you where I straight thought Geralt was hand handling handing her like pads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Menstruation. But it was just like breakfast. Mm -hmm. The rest of her breakfast. Yeah. Uh, so th I was right in my feeling that both the Lashy and the Centipede, Lesh, Leshy, Leshy, Leshy and the Centipede were weird. I was like, that felt yeah. odd. And they are, they're doing magic science on them. Yeah. And cause she thought maybe they were engineered by a mage. Mm -hmm. but they're not. They're not. But it is something to do with Siri. Because she also has like the blood of elders in her. Mm -hmm. Because wherever she has bled around the castle, there are these flowers that no one has seen in centuries. Uh huh. Yeah. And that like it mutated them or no, it, has... it, it they grew from her blood. That proves that she is an elder. Yeah. And that centipede thing. Oh God. Well, that's to do more to do with her breaking the monolith. When the Black Knight tried to take her, when she screamed the first mm -hmm. time and it like crumbled, that because that was what they said about the pieces of both monsters is that they have like it's like they're made of the monolith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she feels bad about it. It was like she didn't do it on purpose. She has no way of knowing what her mm -hmm. thing is. Yeah. Uh, so we have Yennefer and Kair yeah. are in. They're in Redania. 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 Or yeah, Redania. And they're like. Puffing about, yeah. and they're in the sewers, and we met this like really cute deaf elf and his like older friend. Yeah, I think they were just friends. I don't think. Of and it. they were like, "We're not gonna help you in case, but we might." And so they did. <laughs> and he had plans for his future, and then he was eaten by an octopus in the sewer. Yeah, octopus and Yennefer squid. almost was, mm -hmm. but they got her back. And then the but Kair burned yeah. it, yeah. and then threw the torch into the water yeah. because they were done. They didn't need it anymore. And I was like, "Well, I mean, they got out immediately after that." <laughs> At the point where he threw the torch onto the into the very damp ground, they weren't out yet, <laughs> so it felt preemptive. 
Yeah, and then I mean, luckily the the friend, the like the friend that just let the cute kid die, he like sacrificed himself so that the rest of them could get on the boat. Which yeah, but it was also really it was really stupid. It was it was, a little stupid. <laughs> it was, it was very a little stupid. But we also did what we got Yaskier back. He's the sandpiper. He is having a time. It feels. Yeah. Yeah, I I still I'm I'm like somehow even further away from the timeline of the first season because now I, I thought we were like decades were passing, but well, now I'm like, oh, it was like at most twelve years. It has to be like at least sixteen. It's however old Siri is. Sure. Okay. From only the moment of the wet, only the moment of the child surprise. But my understanding, like I said, I'm further away from it. I I thought the scenes happening with Yaskier were like a hundred years ago. No, they can't have been because he was there for the child surprise. Oh, he was. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so he sings me mad songs. He's real emo. Will he, said he's going through a Jack White phase. Yeah, he the butcher song that he was singing at the beginning. It's a mean. It's a mean breakup song about Geralt. Why? Why was he so mad at them? Well, he Geralt pulled a real Harry and the Hendersons okay. on Yasker, and he was like. Get out of here. I don't want to ever see you again. He was letting Yennefer have it, but... He did let Yennefer have it a little bit. Well, I mean, like, like the last time he saw Yennefer was with the djinn, I think. And that didn't go great either. Yeah. There was some... Oh, no, it was the dragon. That was the last time yeah. he saw her, too. It was largely playful. There was, like, some gentle ribbing, yeah, but... Yeah. um, Gentle, I guess, sure. Yaskier had the most amazing coat, though. It was great. It was so purple. Red. I loved it. Oh, I thought it was red. Oh, I was really reading it as, like, magenta. <laughs> I, mean, I guess it looks red in this photo, but in, the in like, the darkness, it uh -huh. looked magenta. But it just, like, the, the like, layering. And yeah. The, oh, it was really nice. And um, he got them on a boat... Mm -hmm. Heading to Centra, mm -hmm. heading south to Centra. And then <laughs> he like went back upstairs and was like, ah. And when Yennefer went to check, his, his loot liar, was broken. Loot, loot, yeah, was broken. And so we don't know. I, I'm assuming that they didn't unceremoniously kill off the most popular no, character off I can't, screen. I can't imagine. He's got to be. <laughs> just she's gonna, on, the, on the deck, she, just yeah. lying there. She's also going to definitely save him because um, Kahir is, was like sticking his little head up and she was on the dock and he was like, we have to save ourselves. And they haven't given her and Kahir like a like a strong connection, like meet cute thingy yeah. yet. But they're not. I mean, there's a little bit of kind of like like you don't think so. OK, even if I there is, so. I don't want it. We have apparently his name was Dara. That was series elf friend yeah, from, from season, season one. one. And, and he did a Harry and the Hendersons thing with her. <laughs> Um, but they talked about Dara before he came into play, and I yes. don't remember who was talking about him or why. I think it was the um, it well, it was Graham McTavish because he was like, we have to send an elf as like a spy, but it has to be an elf with like a potential for like, like a really malleable one. And so mm -hmm. then they found him in like a cell, and they're sending him on this like um underground railroad type of thing. Me thinks he's not going to end up being a spy. No, he 100% is because he hated Siri. He's going to be bad. Uh oh, he's going to be. I thought he was her friend. No, he literally was like, you're just as bad as oh. your grandmother. Get the fuck away from me. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> they were friends at first, uh -huh. but then they were with those forest women. And then she decided to leave because she thought Mausak was coming to get her. But it was like a weird creature that can like could like body shift. And so he, was the changeling yeah. Thingy. So she made her skinwalker. Yeah. So she she made him leave, and then they were not safe anymore. And then he was like, mm -hmm. "Forget you." And so he's going to pick right back up where he left off. Yeah, essentially, <laughs> yes. That's what it seems like, anyway. And then, yeah, we didn't check in with uh, the elves, or like, um... no, we did not go back to Fringilla mm -hmm. and Francesca this episode. And then, yeah, I I think that's about it. Was there more? I feel like there was more. Just a lot of like, still sort of like witch training now with Siri and mm -hmm. Triss. Uh, oh, and then um, Triss sent Geralt to, um, what's his name? I already forgot it. The one I don't like, Istrid. Istrid. Yeah, I was right. She sent him there, and right. Yeah, and I, it looked like taking a portal really took it out of him, which was <laughs> super funny. I liked that a lot. 
Um, but yeah, I think that's that's pretty much where we are. So I assume then Triss and Siri stayed behind to keep training in like the witch part or the mage part of the whole thing. Cool. Yeah. So I think we're gonna pick up with Istred and Geralt in the next episode. Okay. Well. We'll be back. Bye.